Good morning, family. This is More Holistic. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. That's wonderful. I'm back again with the sprouts and the microgreens. And as you can see, uh, this is actually day six. I could have took them out yesterday, but I didn't. So I'm going to take them out today uh, and rinse them off and put them in the refrigerator. I'm going to put them in here and then rinse them off with uh, filtered water and put them in the refrigerator and keep them at least 40 degrees. Now, my microgreens um, are, you know, one of them is growing really good. As you can see, this one's really good, like a little afro. Woohoo! This one here, I don't know what happened. It kind of looks sparse. I did the same thing. I don't know. But I just tried that soil out. Next time I get all my soil from uh, True Leaf, they have the heirloom seeds and all that kind of good stuff. But it's, I'll tell you some good things about sprouts. Um, well, first of all, we can talk about hydroponic, uh, hydroponic, um, what, what that is, is growing um, without uh, water. I mean, growing without soil. You grow with water, put some nutrients in the solvents, and then uh, it'll grow that way. That's what we're doing right here. And now microgreens, the difference, as I said before, is growing with soil. Next time I'll be using the more organic soil. I was just in kind of a rush to kind of show you what it was like. Uh, you know, so also sprouts, you can store them up to six weeks. You're going to rinse it in cool water and they sprout, sprout between three and five days. They'll be ready. The day is, uh, actually day five, five, six. So they're ready. And, uh, you know, but the earlier they are, they're a little bit more sweeter. And what I use the broccoli sprouts, they're very neuroprotective, good for the, the mind and everything like that. And, uh, a good uh, sprout for a lot with a lot of high protein in it would be your kidney beans okay now when it comes to eating sprouts you can eat everything from the, the root to the leaves all everything and grains and nuts are the reason we sprout is because it's more digestible to your system uh, and also you can get your sprouts you can go to the sprout house at Amazon store or the sproutpeople.org or you can go to True Leaf. They have uh, what you call, you know, all the little sprout kits and whatnot in the soil, so you can make a better, um, better have the best possible soil. They also sell the heirloom seeds, and what heirloom seeds are, my, uh, is 50-year-old seeds. They're old seeds, and people collect them. And I didn't know that. Uh, now they try to say that uh, collecting seeds and uh, trading seeds is uh, illegal because of the big corporation called, called Monsanto, M-O-N-S-A-N-T-O, look that up. They dominate the global seed market. Ain't you wanna and have all these regulations where you can't even make, uh, do seed collecting. Isn't that gross, man? That is so domination, domination. Doesn't that remind you of something else? Somebody wanna dominate and control everything so that everybody else is at their mercy. Okay, well, anyways, getting back to the sprouts, what I'm gonna do is, uh, Hold on, I'm gonna rinse them for you. So wait just a second. Okay, I'm back. Uh, what I'm gonna do is get a big bowl and keep rinsing it so I can get all the little seeds out. Then I'm gonna put it in a container in the uh, refrigerator and it'll keep for about, um, oh, about uh, what they say, about six weeks. Really? Six weeks? Yeah. Uh-huh. Or yeah, six days, excuse me. So yeah, that's all there is there about sprouts. Now, talking about the microgreens, right over here, this one looks so nice. Um, it'll be ready. Um, and uh, probably about next next week. It takes about two weeks. So next Sunday, it'll be ready. 
like uh, March the 6th, I believe. It's still growing. But yeah, microgreens are, you, eat, you can eat just the uh, leaves. And uh, when they have two little uh, leaves on it, then they're ready. I see a lot of them, they do have two leaves. I see one, two, you know, so they're about ready. Sometimes they have a scent to them because uh, I guess they're growing. But you do have to watch out for like mold, mildew, and fungi, fungi. But yeah, uh, microgreens are very nutritious. They have potassium, iron, zinc, magnesium, copper, they an and antioxidants too. Also, uh, they're quite expensive if you buy them, and that's because of the seeds, the organic um, uh, non-GMO seeds you wanna get. Uh, also, the soil, organic good soil, and light and labor. So you can sell them for about, they'll sell for about 30 to $50 a pound, you know, as an urban, urban grower. So it's a good business to start if you're interested in something for you and your family. Wonderful business to start if you're interested in that. I was thinking about it myself. I said, dang, dang you get all that money out? I had read that before and I, when I was started used, doing them when I was in California, but I got interrupted. But anyways, no excuse. <laughs> But yeah, get those heirloom seeds as much as you can. They're becoming more popular. What are great about them, heirlooms, they're passed along in families from different farmers and in families they keep them. They, they, I guess they have a memory in them of a family. But us as uh, melanated people, since we don't uh, own the land here in, in, the, in the Northwest Hemisphere, it's very important that we are, have land so we can do this ourselves. See how, how dependent we are? We don't even have our own seeds. Isn't that pitiful? We are in such a situation. But uh, anyways, uh, people are worried about different things, but I think this is something to be concerned about and something you need to be teaching the younger people how to farm and how to uh, get land so we can grow, good land so we can grow. So that's it for right now. We're gonna keep an eye on these, uh, uh, on my microgreens. I got a sprayer, spray them a little bit. And this one here, I really don't know what happened. It's just like, poof, it just doesn't want to grow. Maybe it's too much water, not enough water, but I put the same amount of water in them. But see how full these are? They got about a week to go. Yeah, see how nice they are? I got to spray them. It's very beautiful, extremely beautiful. Yes, yes, yes. And then my microgreens, I'm going to put them in a bowl and swish them around. Uh, yeah, okay. So that's it for today. I just want to keep you up to date. As to what's going on here with the microgreens, microgreens right here, me and my green thumb, more holistic, subscribe, 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 give me a thumbs up, I have a lot of most uh, great information for you, and then these here, I don't know, I have to look as to why they're acting this way, so like I said before, I'm going to get a big bowl and just swish, see all these little seeds in here, you swish that out, and uh, see, see that's what they look like. Da, 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 da. You can eat the whole thing once you um, rinse all the seeds out, rinse through it. Make sure you do it thoroughly because you don't want cross-contamination. Because, you know, when growing things, bacteria grows. So you don't want to cross-contamination. You want to wash your hands, wash the plants, wash the objects that you use, have used. Use uh, really clean water, clean surfaces, clean, wash the surfaces. Because you don't want cross-contamination to get E. coli or any of those types of things. Okay, well, that's it for today. Happy gardening. Get your green thumbs going. Now you can actually start planting your, your actual gardens out in the backyard or in your pots uh, or on your patio, whatever you, way you prefer to do that. Okay, family, it's been nice talking to you. Take care. This kind of look like an afro, don't it? Ooh, a bush, like a nice little bush. <laughs> Anyways, have a great day today. Stay positive, stay uplifted. And remember, peace, but you have to fight for it like Fred Hampton. Have y'all watched that movie on, uh, what's it, um, HBO? It's pretty, it's okay, it's all right. But it's better to read the book, you know, read about them. Because you know how it is when they make films. So, yeah, that's it. Uh, stay positive, stay uplifted, and focus in on your goals. Focus in on your goals and look out for people that distract you, toxic people. Got to get them out of your life. Cut the cord. Cut the cord. I'm doing that myself. Okay. I don't know what's wrong with this. Or maybe I didn't talk to her enough. I don't know. Anyways, I'll figure it out. But anyhow, if you have any suggestions or any questions, let me know. 
Okay, take care. Happy More Holistic. Give me a thumbs up and a like. Thumbs up and subscribe. Share, share also. Thank you.